this special broadcast. So, um, Rocks and Bones. Rocks and Bones was one of the first tunes that I uh, ever uh, wrote uh, on, on paleo things. And it came about, I was doing a show, working on a show for the South Australian Museum and the Adelaide Botanic Gardens where we'd have part one of the show at the gardens and part two um, at the South Australian Museum. So you see the ecosystems or the plants, prehistoric plants, and then you go to the place where the prehistoric bones could be found. And this, this particular show was about megafauna. Um, Dancing with Dapotodons was the name of the show and Dapotodon teeth, for example. And so I, I wanted, and this song came early because it very much is about the idea of how do we know stuff? How, how do we know how do we know there were the protodons? Well, we know because we find the stories in the rocks and the bones. And, and I also wanted it to do a bit more than just say, well, we find the fossils, there they are. I wanted it to emphasize the fact that we find stories. Paleontologists find stories. We find, while we find uh, bones and, and fossils of all kinds that tell us about the, the species and the habitats, we're, we're finding individuals. And these teeth here belong to an individual Diprotodon. And so I think the song kind of aims to do that. So if you haven't heard it before, um, the way that it works is that I sing Rocks and Bones and you sing it back to me. So let's just try that. Rocks and Bones. Oh yeah, and it needs to be bones. And one of the things that, um, in having done this sh song lots of times over the years, is that it becomes quite funny getting, um, especially grown-ups, trying to say bones, because they often say bones. So um, here we are, this is me, Rocks and Bones. on TV. You can surf the internet and find yourself a story. But me, I love to dig amongst the dirt and stones, looking for the stories in the rocks and the bones. Rocks and bones. Rocks and bones. Rocks and bones. Rocks and bones. There are stories to be found deep within the ground. Rocks and bones. Rocks and bones. Rocks and bones. Rocks and bones. There are stories in the rocks and the bones. You can read it in the papers or in a magazine. You can listen to the radio and you may hear a story. But me, I love to dig amongst the dirt and stones, looking for the stories. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones, there are stories to be found deep within the ground. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, there are stories in the rocks and the bones. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, there are stories to be found deep within the ground. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones. Two years ago, I was asked by the um, Australian Museum in um, in Sydney to do a show uh, that helped tell the stories of their exhibition, uh, Tyrannosaurs Meet the Family. And of course, well, the cool thing with that uh, exhibition and the show that I put together was that it's to remind people that it's not just T-Rex. I mean, yes, T-Rex, amazing claws, all of those things. Um, but there are a whole series of tyrannosaurs that we found 
all around the world and Tyrannosaurus Rex is just one of them. Um, and at the same time with this particular song, as well as uh, listing some of the other Tyrannosaurs, I wanted to be able to say to people, well, part of the job of a paleontologist is to work out, well, but, but we know what these animals look like, but, but what did they do? So, um, and look, it's, it's a fun dancing tune, so uh, wherever you are, now would be a good time to be standing up because the way the tune works, come on, standing up, grown-ups too, um, the way that it works is that you put your claws out the front like that and you stomp up and down, everybody stomp, then um, you roar, well that's an interesting question isn't it, did T-Rex roar, we'll come to that another day, so it's everybody roar, let me hear you, yes, everybody, mm -hmm. everybody chomp, so you put your claws out like that, or your jaws, not your claws, everybody chomp, 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 then shake your tail like a tyrannosaur, remembering of course that T-Rex wasn't upright. Um, unless it felt like looking up and saying hello, but it didn't move upright. Uh, it moved that way, so if it's shaking its tail, you're going to be leaning forwards. So, let's do that again. Everybody stomp, stomp, stomp. Everybody raw. Everybody chomp, chomp, chomp. Then shake your tail like a tyrannosaur. A long, 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 long time ago, scientists do agree. Lived an awesome group of predators from a famous family. There were big ones, small ones, several in between. Some were shot and others tall. So step up, step out. It's time to get a move on. It's time you join them all. Everybody's favourite, the tyrant lizard king There's you tyrannus covered up with feathers or wishbone but no wings Then there's Alyaramus, Daspoletosaurus But wait, oh yes, there's more Gorgosaurus, Teratophanes, till all best I have a soul why it is um, that I love dinosaurs and um, th there were lots of reasons there. Pretty remarkable animal there uh, for we who work in paleontology. It, uh, for many of us we were that dinosaur kid when we were little. Like many of you that are watching we were that kid that, that loved dinosaurs um, and we just kept on loving them as grown-ups and then it kind of became our job. Um, and, and, you know, you have all kinds of different dinosaurs now. We're finding a dinosaur every week. We've got hundreds of known species now compared with, you know, even compared with 10 years ago. We've got many more things. And modern technology allows us to find out lots more things. You know, we can look inside 
without cutting it in half. We can look inside a T-Rex tooth like this and see what it's made of. Um, we can look inside bones, we can look inside just about anything. Um, but I, I wanted uh, uh, to do a song that was just firstly really annoying um, and, and secondly I wanted to do in this video clip I probably spent more time on this video clip than just about any video clip um, we, we've ever done because I wanted a whole bunch of images of uh, dinosaurs from popular culture from early posters to uh, old movies to new movies to all kinds of things so I wanted a, a song that pays homage to all of those cool things this song's called I Love Dinosaurs and um, and you sing I love dinosaurs I love dinosaurs and the answer as to why I love dinosaurs because they're cool oh and uh, in the chorus I think it's a chorus whatever bit it is you get to do that roaring sound again so um, loud voices at the ready I want your neighbours to be complaining I love dinosaurs 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 because they're cool I love dinosaurs 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 because they're cool let me hear you let me hear you let me hear you I love dinosaurs, I love dinosaurs, I love dinosaurs, I love dinosaurs, because they're cool. I love dinosaurs, 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 because they're cool. Let me hear you, let me hear you, let me hear you. I love dinosaurs, 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 because they're cool. I love dinosaurs, 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 I love dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs because they're cool. So here we are um, in one of the favourite parts of my house, um, my little home studio. And this um, is, is quite an old computer. And I think one of the things to say to folk is that um, the, the program I've got here, Pro Tools, it's Pro Tools version 8. And it's currently up to Pro Tools version 5 million and 9 or something. Um, but the thing that I found is that I got to know how to use that particular program um, and, and working with my producer and we, we use this um, more than uh, anything when we're recording the songs and doing the arrangements um, because we know this program and whatever program it is that you use, that you play, you know, there, there are a whole bunch of programs and I won't list them off. Um, you, you can you can find out what's best to you. The thing is, I think, find one, stick to it, learn how to use it. And that way you end up developing your own unique sound anyway. So um, what song I've got here, this, this song is called Plesiosaurs and Ichthyosaurs. And earlier this year, we were due to um, do some shows at the South Australian Museum as part of Fossil Fest, but then 2020 happened. And the shows we were doing were helping to t celebrate the story of Mary Anning and the fossils that she had uh, revealed and discovered, and the really cool connection between those kinds of fossils and the kinds of fossils we find uh, here where I'm based in South Australia, the plesiosaurs, the ichthyosaurs, the ammonites and stuff. So I didn't have a song with ichthyosaurs in it, and I wanted that. And so, um, now on, on the program here, you can see those different colors. 
each of those different colors is a different track. Um, and so there's a piano track there, there's a guitar track that was recorded earlier, the piano track, there's a keyboard here. Hello, that's me playing the piano sometimes, anyway. Um, so what I want to do is um, sing this tune live and, and record it, microphone, uh, and record it for um, a later use as well. But as well as you um, getting to hear this song, um, when the chorus comes along, as always, for me, there's always, always really important um, to give people something to do in a song. Um, and whether it's singing or dancing or a combination of all the above. Um, so with this song, plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs. So once you know the words, the whole words of the song, you sing along with the whole thing. But if you're hearing it for the first time, it's good to be able to get people to participate easily. Um, and so um, I'm gonna put the headphones on and um, let's see uh, this thing here. Um, it has the words because <laughs> I don't know them. Um, not yet, anyway, but let's see, let's see how we go. Um, get ready. I've been digging the day away through the rocks that I explore. There are a few things that are there you might not have seen before. There were monsters below the sea, now revealed within the stones. Take a moment to consider all the stories in the bones. See, I said bones, right? Good. There were plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, down by the seashore and so much more. Plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, down by the seashore, deep beneath the ocean floor. All of that and so much more. Did you give it a moment's thought of what might have dwelt right here, living here upon this spot in a past and distant year? There are stories beneath your feet from the ancient days of old, and no matter where you're living, there are tales that should be told. All that stuff I was talking about before, remember? There are plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, down by the seashore and so much more. Plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, down by the seashore, deep beneath the ocean floor. All of that and so much more. Skiddly scat scat, scooby doo. So there you have. Um, right, we'll, we'll take these off. Um, so that's that's now recorded into there. And and what I would do after that, I'll have a listen back to the vocals, see how they turned out, um, maybe uh, edit some of my babblings, my talkings. Um, and then often when you listen to the tunes, you hear uh, backing vocals. And often those backing vocals are me um, having a lot of fun. But sometimes those backing vocals are other people. And that was the case with the Mary Anning song, which I, I want to touch on now, because Plesiosaurs and Ichthyosaurs leads us into that. And, and I think the best video clip we've made for a song so far is very much the one we're going to show next. It's a song about Mary Anning. The idea of the song uh, has, had been floating around in my head for quite some time. Um, and uh, so, uh, and, and then I heard about these folk in England called Mary Anning Rocks, who are looking to build a statue in Mary's honor in her hometown of Lyme Regis. Because believe it or not, like there's all this talk of statues at the moment. There's no statue of Mary Anning one of the most famous people in paleontology, um, one of the, the founders of the, of the science itself, I suppose you could describe her. So um, we wanted to do something that would help raise awareness of that um, and also empower, I think, um, young people, young women in, in science. And so we made this video clip um, with some performers I work with through uh, Adelaide Youth Theatre um, and they did such an amazing job as you'll see from the video clip. Uh, the, 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 the girls were just, um, it was such such a, a good fun clip to make and a good fun song because I wanted it to be a, like a rock song. It had to be a rock song um, which is why you know you, you, when you hear it, if you haven't heard it before, it's got that very powerful kind of <laughs> kind of guitar stuff in it. 
Um, so, um, here is uh, me, um, oh, and the man in the bowler hat that you see in the clip. Don't tell anyone, but that's me as well. So, without any further ado, my favourite video clip, which is also available as a single um, uh, from um, iTunes and all the usual spots, and you can, again, as I've mentioned, you know, you can, you can listen to it on Spotify and stuff. So here it is, Mary Anning. <laughs> Legend born of a lightning strike A journey to discover what the ancient world was like What dwelt beneath prehistoric coasts Was revealed in the tales of some Jurassic ghosts Oh, 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 oh. A hero born in a different time Across the rocks she would crawl and climb She lit a fuse that now burned Listen to her story, remember her name oh, 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 oh. Mary Anning robbed the seashore oh, 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 oh. Mary Anning dug deep to explore oh, 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 oh. Lived in a world that denied her soul Kept on doing her thing no matter who told her no A few pterosaurs Fossil fish, coprolites and ichthyosaurs In the place where she lived by an ancient sea She sold seashells by the seashore to support her family oh. Could acknowledge her by her own name. Oh, 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 oh. Mary Anning robbed the seashore. Oh, 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 oh. Mary Anning dug deep to explore. Oh, 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 oh. Lived in a world that denied her soul. Kept on doing a thing no matter who. Shells by the seashore She did a lot of that And a whole lot more She sold seashells by the seashore She did a lot of that And a whole lot more She sold seashells by the seashore She did a lot of that And a whole lot more She sold seashells by the seashore She did a lot of that And a whole lot more Many and rock the sea So the first Professor Flint album uh, was Dinosaurs Down Under and other prehistoric tunes. And in that, I wanted to explore the Australian story, the Australian prehistoric story. And it's very much become a part of um, what I do with live shows these days. It's very much get people to understand and learn about and explore the prehistoric story of where you live, wherever it is that you live. You know, where you live, there were, there were things that swam at some point, there were things that flew, there were things that crawled and slithered that do that right where you are now and have done so over, you know, <laughs> billions of years. So that's what Dinosaurs Down Under the album was about. 
but then in a follow-up album, I wanted to just, just explore dinosaurs and prehistoric time periods and prehistoric creatures from all around the world. Um, but also what was the latest in science, and so Dinosaurs Amongst Us became the second album. And there happened to be an exhibition at a museum in, uh, in America somewhere called Dinosaurs Among Us. And, and it reminded me that how far our knowledge has come in the last few years about the connection between birds and dinosaurs. And so while the album, by the way, uh, all of these things are available on Spotify, on Apple Music. You can um, you can you can buy these, like, and, and help us keep doing the things that we do, or you can stream them on Spotify and stuff. So, um, yes, do that. Yes, so I can eat food and stuff. Um, but yes, so so dinosaurs amongst us. I I wanted that to be the title because I wanted to bring that connection to what we've learnt about the, 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 the modern connection between birds and dinosaurs and, and to, to remind people that you go into your garden and there are dinosaurs. So um, in this tune, Dinosaurs Amongst Us, uh, the chorus is uh, There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us. We call them something different now, we call them that's right, you yell out, birds. You can also join in in the singing bit as well. So, um, this is me. They didn't go extinct, that's what we used to think. But since we've got more recent information, we've had to reassess, and now we can say yes. yes. Today I make a paleo proclamation. Oh, 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 there are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us. We call them something different now. We call them birds. There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us. Have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us. We call them something different now. We call them birds. They had feathers and they also had a wishbone It reminds you of something In your head a bell will ring It is there within the fossils written in stone Oh, 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 oh There are dinosaurs amongst us Dinosaurs amongst us Dinosaurs amongst us Have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us Dinosaurs amongst us We call them something different now we call them birds. There are dinosaurs amongst us. Dinosaurs amongst us. Dinosaurs amongst us. Have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us. Dinosaurs amongst us. We call them something different now. We call them birds. From the fossils in the ground, there is a story we have found. Some dinosaurs avoided mass extinction From the chicken to the hawk Some that dance and some that squawk And they're living here right now with great distinction Oh, 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 oh. there are dinosaurs amongst us 
Deine Sorge magst das, deine Sorge magst das Herr gehört. Löwe, deine Sorge magst das, deine Sorge magst das. We call them something different now. We call them birds. Löwe, deine Sorge magst das, deine Sorge magst das, deine Sorge magst das Herr gehört. Löwe, deine Sorge magst das, deine Sorge magst das. We call them something different now. We call them birds. Löwe, deine Sorge magst das. Dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us. We call them something different now. We call them birds. There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us, have you heard? There are dinosaurs amongst us, dinosaurs amongst us. We call them something different now. We call them birds. We call them something different now. We call them birds. So, so, so. Last up, I wanted a song that, um, and this is on the Dinosaurs Amongst Us album. I wanted a song that basically gave you a bit of an idea of all of the different things that paleontologists do, from digging up rocks and bones to comparing this and that. So comparing teeth from one to the other, um, how we know the things that we do, from writing up our research, from um, hitting a rock or two. And, and I found a, a really cool way of doing that uh, with, with a fun chorus was to link it to the days of the week. Now, that's not exactly how it works, though often we do have structured diaries. Um, but sometimes within that structure, there's there's chaos, of course, as you might imagine. So so this this song um, it has the days of the week in the chorus, and you can get to sing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. To my favourite part, of course, is on Sundays when we have a cup of tea. So thank you for watching. I hope this is um, firstly giving you an opportunity to get off the couch and do some singing and dancing. Um, but also giving you a bit of an insight into um, the, the, the work that, that I do as a singing paleontologist. Thank you and cheerio! I love to dig up rocks and bones. He loves to dig up rocks and bones. I love to dig up rocks and bones every Monday morning. I love to split a rock or two. He loves to split a rock or two. I love to split a rock or two every Tuesday morning. And every day and every way, there's always something you can do. Saturday, Sunday too Yes, every day in every way There's always something you can do On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday Friday, Saturday, Sunday too I love to brush the dust away He loves to brush the dust away I love to brush the dust away Every Wednesday morning I love to take a close Sip a cup of tea. He loves to 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 sip a cup of tea
sip a cup of tea. I love to sip a cup of tea every Sunday morning. And every day in every way, there's always something you can do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday too.